Hey foodies, welcome to Kuvang Shuling. Who can resist over a luscious pineapple cake? So let us prepare a pineapple cake without oven and it's eggless of course. So it's eggless baking without oven again. So let us have a look at the ingredients required for preparing this luscious pineapple cream cake. All we need is 1 cup of maida, 1 fourth cup of butter, 1 fourth cup of powdered sugar, half a cup of condensed milk, 1 fourth teaspoon of baking soda, half a teaspoon of baking powder and a generous pinch of salt and about half a teaspoon of vanilla extract. You may also use pineapple extract if you wish. Now let us start making this. As usual we have this idli cooker with some salt approximately about uh, 2 cups of salt that is the same salt that we used for our tricolor cake and we have a wire stand and a perforated plate I am using an idli cooker you may use any cooker or any pot with a tight lid and make sure it's huge now I am going to cover this keep this whistle loose if you are using a normal cooker again don't use this whistle now we are going to heat this in low flame till then let's prepare our cake batter in this mixing bowl, I am going to add the butter and the sugar. Using this electric mixer, I am going to cream this well for about 2 minutes. This is creamed well, now I am going to add the condensed milk to it. Now let's whip this until it is light and fluffy. Have a look at this, this is so light, creamy and nice. Now we are going to sift in our drying ingredients to it so we don't have to work with electric mixer now we have to work with spatula now let's remove this wix and work with our spatula Now we are going to add the dry ingredients to it our maida or plain flour baking soda salt and baking powder sift this together Now I am going to add in my vanilla extract and fold this dry ingredients to it Folding basically means taking your spatula or your spoon and moving your uh, spatula like this and doing like this. This ensures the air and the fluffiness that we uh, attained from butter and sugar that does not goes away and we get a light and uh, spongy cake. Now I am going to add 50 ml of water to it. You can also use milk if you wish and fold this together. Look at our cake batter, this is looking so nice and fluffy and good. Now we are going to bake this. Here I am using a cake tin which is a spring form tin. I have uh, greased uh, with oil all over, applied a parchment paper on the bottom or butter paper. Now we are going to add this cake batter into this cake tin. Here we have our cake batter ready, now we are going to bake this. Our idli cooker is being heated for about 10 minutes or we can say it is preheated by now. Now we are going to quickly close this, we will be back after 40 minutes. Here I have about 500 milliliters of cream which we are going to use for icing the cake. I am going to whip this cream using our hand mixer with bowl uh, which I did and giveaway also and I love this product that is the reason behind doing the giveaway. So let's whip this cream without any further delay. Now this cream is double in volume and now it's the right time to add our powdered sugar or confectionery sugar. Now we are going to restart it until it reaches stiff peaks. Now our cream is ready and it has reached stiff peaks. Let's see the peaks. It's stiff and nice. Now our cream is ready. We are going to keep this for about uh, 15 to 20 minutes in the fridge or until we are ready to use it. It has been 40 minutes since our cake is baked. Now we are going to open this. It's ready. Now we are going to wait until it cools down a little then we are going to take it out. Our sponge is baked and it's cooled for about 5 minutes. Now let's open the spring of this. Be careful it might be hot. So let's remove this. Now we are going to wait until it cools down a little, about 30 minutes or so. Our sponge cake is cooled and it's ready. Now we are going to cut this using this knife. This is a bread knife. So just take your serrated knife and move it like this. We are going to make three layers of this cake. So first of all, let's measure. One.
now uh, the lowest layer is ready we are going to keep this aside and find the mark that you made and chop it up now our second layer is also ready let's remove this knife and transfer it here transfer it our cakes layers are ready now let's assemble our cake for assembling the cake you basically need some whipped cream some chopped up pineapple this is tinned pineapple slices that i chopped up some pineapple slices pineapple sugar syrup from the tin and the cake some melted chocolate for the lace now let's start at the first we'll have to take a small dollop of our whipped cream and uh, spread it on our plate i'm using a turntable and above that i have a plate now we are going to take the bottom most layer and keep it in the center we have the sugar syrup from the tinned pineapples we are going to spread it around the sponge now we are going to take some whipped cream and add to this now take your offset spatula or your palette knife or your normal spatula and spread it like this now we are going to add some chopped up pineapples Now this much is fine we are going to place the second layer now Now our cake is good and nice and going to give it a good layer of crumb coat Now let's spread this now this layer has to be very thin Now cover the areas which are uncovered. Our cake is crumb coated well. Now I'm going to keep this in the freezer for about 20 to 30 minutes so that this cream settles up and we can make the final icing on this cake. Here we have our cake. This is ready. Now we're going to give it a good layer of whipped cream. Now this looks very much on the top but this is going to spread all over the cake and we are going to take out the excessive also so let's see how to do this take your spatula offset spatula or palette knife or whatever you call and spread it like this move your spatula like this and move the turn table from the bottom Now we are going to again do the same thing and cover up the uh, areas which are not covered up nicely and uh, they are opened. Here I have my cake ready. So I'm going to keep this in the freezer for about 10 minutes so that we can lift it up and keep it in our cake serving base. On a sheet of parchment paper, we have drawn uh, some uh, zigzag thing. using some melted chocolate dark chocolate now we are going to stick this in our cake so uh, better if you get a helping hand keep this in the fridge for about 5 minutes now let's peel this parchment paper Here I have a piping bag with a star nozzle fitted. I'm going to make shell border in this. Now we are going to layer pineapple slices. Now we are going to keep a whole pineapple slice here. Let's fill these empty areas with some chocolate. Yeah we have our cake ready thank you for watching do subscribe for more of cooking shooting do try and let me know how it turned out to be and yes don't forget to check out our new website cookingshooting.in your new stop for delectable recipes